Hello guys, you are watching Simple Stupid Things and this is Ashwakal. So today we are going to make a, a system OTAS, name OTAS as I have named it, object tracking and sensing which will be used in handheld weapons to locate the target without even seeing it. But uh, actually the main pur purpose is to uh, uh, make the precision uh, very high that how we aim an object or target a target object. So we will use a open CV to do that. So let's first discuss about the parts. Here I have made a small gun. You can see a small push button over here which switch on uh, this laser diode, a five milliwatt laser diode. And uh, there is a small, very small USB camera over here. And uh, both can be connected to USB for their power supplies and connection and uh, what more here is the adjustment for these LEDs and uh, this is like a we this gun uh, does not shoot any projectiles that is the reason we are using a laser diet to know actually where the gun is uh, targeting or the gun is pointing so let's move on further and the main thing is this particularly the main thing is this okay this is a wristband connected to four vibratory motors first one here a small one inside this you can see here the second one is here third one is here and the last the fourth one okay so this motors will be connected to the raspberry pi and now how it will work actually the user will wear this in in, in his hand and uh, by sensing the motors the vibration made by the motors the user will just go in that direction uh, on which the motor is vibrating so it will help us to locate the target basically you will see the uh, working further in this video only so one more basic component is this the raspberry pi so i have made a small controller out of it to just to protect the raspberry pi from big damage i made it a small controller this box is actually a PCB box of out of an aquaga strong PCB boxes this is this is a USB hub which I am connecting with the Pi over here so here comes the main part this is a Raspberry Pi I have connected the GPIO pin number 7 GPIO pin number 11 13 and 15 to the I input 1, 2, 3 and 4 of the motor driver or the motor shield LN290 and this is a Raspberry Pi 2B plus and these are the outputs for the for controlling the motors power supply for the Raspberry Pi so let's see how it works actually okay now here you can see that how this band is vibrating now it's vibrating in the upward direction when i go up now it's vibrating in the left direction and i a little bit side it is vibrating in different directions the the screen you can see how the gun is pointing when the target on the target okay let's run the program once more here you look here at how it is actually working Inside. 
it is vibrating in the upward direction uh, let me switch on this ok now it is vibrating in the upward direction I am going up 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 now little bit left see how I located my target ok When I go this side, the vibration starts once more. Now the vibration is not on. The vibrating motors are not working. But when I go in this direction, can can you hear the sound? Okay. Now it is vibrating in the upward direction. A little bit right. Okay. Things like like this. This device is working. Now the, the uh, this uh, the most down vibratory motor is vibrating. So let's see how the program works actually so let's start with my favorite part to to see uh, how to program the Raspberry Pi and what are the important software details so first download the putty press SS, open the SSO terminal will after logging in as your name it will ask you for the password just give that switch on the VLC server after that it will give you a IP in which your new desktop is running so using VLC viewer open your new desktop So so few things which we are going to install are first we have to just go with the sudo apt get update command so pressing enter it will update your pi as i have already updated it so i will not do that then again you have to install the open source computer vision library open cv open cv python open cv Open press Windows. Open CV. And after installing that, okay. Okay, I, I left one small key here. Install. Now that will work. Control C, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Also, so one more thing which uh, which we have to install is the FS webcam. Similarly, just type here FS webcam. After installing that, you are done, and the last two things which uh, you need is the uh, pip install pip install rpi pi dot gpio 
I have done that too and the last one this is the final one Boom. okay so these were the five things which uh, you have to install and update after doing that just go to the link in the description there you can find every each and every code and files which I have made and uh, here are the some tests from main gun 1 to main gun 10.5 I have made many programs but this one what is that this this main gun 10.5 was the most successful one from that and uh, in our video we were using a yellow object but you can change the object also using this uh, program color scan dot file a special thanks actually goes to the RDM Rosenberg uh, who is the owner of the website pi image search a very useful site where you can easily uh, know about open CV and object detection so just insert your image here name it as this color dot jpg after doing that just run the color scan dot file after doing that check your webcam connect your webcam to the raspberry pi and run this code you will be able to uh, detect the color on your uh, camera and after doing that all thing just uh, run this program track object dot file and there you will be able to track your object you will get, get the coordinates of your uh, coordinates of your object okay so this was how we made it so just uh, okay uh, we should have a look over it that uh, how the program works these are the important header files you can see the inutils open cv header file and the all, all the headers and this connects the physical environment of the uh, raspberry pi and here is the we are using the set mode as board okay not a bcm so uh, actually this one goes to the in one right in one in in one means input one and this one to the in two this one to the in three this one to the four these all are the pins on the raspberry pi and this in one in two and in three and in four are the pins on the motor driver so here as you can see uh, for different coordinates we run different vibratory motors and if all are uh, at the center i mean the object at the center so every vibratory motor starts rotating uh, stops rotating so uh, just go through the comments which i have given over you a small piece of code you will be able to understand the code very easily just uh, the basic thing you need is basic python programming nothing else so thanks for watching